The title of today's class is Two Inches Off Your Belly Now. Two Inches Off Your Belly Now. I'd say at least 90% of men want to get two inches off their belly, including me, and probably 99% of women uh, want two inches off their belly, and we all would like it now. So I'm going to be talking basically about something that's doable within about a two-week period. Initially, I was going to call it one inch off your belly now, but within two days, I lost an inch. I said, just as fast as I thought. And uh, I went through vigorous exercise, and I, cut my, I just hadn't eaten dinner the day before, and boom. Now, the belly, we're not talking waist size, because, you know, my waist size for my pants is 32. I used to be over 38. And I had to take the weight off because I was having labile hypertension. So for health reasons, I, I got my waist to 32. I wear 32 pants. But if you measure across the belly button, which gets to your love handles and your, and your full belly, my, my belly was 39 inches. So my pants are 32. My belly at its widest girth was 39. And uh, so I got down to 38 within two days. And... and there might be some normal fluctuation happens. I don't know what it is today. I took it, we took it those two times. Now, keep in mind, appearance is, of course, a big part of it. Everyone wants to look better. We're a culture that likes smaller bellies. It looks healthier. It's, it's more glamorous. It's more masculine, even. And, of course, if a man gets wide shoulders, that can help dwarf his belly. If he has small shoulders and a small chest, and then he's pear-shaped. That doesn't look good. And, even more importantly, it's not healthy. When a man's waist is 40 inches or above, we're not talking belly from the belly button, waist is over 40 inches or more, he's more at risk for cancer, diabetes, and cardiovascular disease, heart attack, stroke, etc. For a woman, if your waist is over 30, 35 inches or more, you're at greater risk for cancer, cardiovascular disease, diabetes, and arthritis, both male and female, more at risk. So the belly, the belly fat is super important, super important. Now, the belly fat's a white fat, and what's been recently found, I, from, I was reading a Harvard study, where they found that exercise increases irisin, a, a substance called irisin, and irisin increases brown fat. So there's the white fat that you have around the belly, and then you have brown fat. Well, as babies, we have a lot of brown fat. What does brown fat do? Brown fat helps eat up the white fat. It's actually a fat-burning type of fat. It's a healthy fat. So it's a new breakthrough, irisin. But your belly size is not just a function of fat. It's not. Let me tell you the five factors that make your belly bigger. Fat, and I'm sure you've noticed after you eat, you're an inch or two at bigger. I know at night my belly must be two to three inches bigger. I, don't, I haven't taken it morning and night. When I've taken it, it was in the morning. When I talked about 39 going to 38, it was first thing in the morning. My weight's lower. In fact, when I go to sleep, I wake up in the morning about three pounds lighter. Of course, I'm, I, I, I get up to the bathroom about three times a night, and so it, it, that facilitates it, the, the weight loss. But also, my belly shrinks in. So sometimes, uh, somebody in my family, my wife, would kid, say, gee, your belly's getting bigger. I said, well, it's nighttime. You know, I've eaten. You may be carrying uh, three or four pounds of food. So food, and then the long, of course, that food sticks there. If, you, if you're not digesting your food, it just stays there if, if, you, if you're not getting sufficient digestive enzymes. So one thing you can do if that's an issue and the food's just not going through you fast enough, a number of things you can do. Uh, one, you might need digestive enzymes to help you digest the food to, to bring it down. So for some people, that's going to help reduce your, your waist size. Digestive enzymes, you can get at any health food store or online. And as we get older, anyhow, we may not be secreting enough of the enzymes, so it's, it's, not, it's not a bad idea to take in supplemental form. Now there's another one, and this one's a little bit more sensitive a subject that makes the belly bigger. What is it? It's related to food. It's fecal matter, fecal matter. If you haven't had a bowel movement, that, that's just sitting there. You just, in fact, some people carry over 10 pounds of fecal matter. So that's adding size, fecal matter. 
So if that's an issue, and that's what constipation is basically a dangerous condition if it stays untreated, a particularly good thing to do for, for moving the waste material and also protecting your colon is psyllium, psyllium husk. Uh, it, come, it, it comes in a ground up form. You take a teaspoon with some water. In fact, you have to take a lot of water with it and flush it through. And it comes right through like a plunger, right through your digestive tract and just washes everything out. 